Good afternoon, you one and two. Hope you're having a nice day today. It's a bit cold outside today, so I'm inside. Right, we have another story, Katie and the Spanish Princess. So let's see what Katie's up to today. Tomorrow was Katie's birthday and Grandma was making a princess costume for her fancy dress party. But the costume didn't look quite right. We need to see some princess pictures, said Grandma. Let's go to the gallery. At the gallery, Katie and Grandma found a picture called Portrait of the Infinita Margarita by Diego Valesquez. She must be a princess, said Katie. Look at her dress. <gasps> Doesn't look very comfy to me, said Grandma, sitting down. Now I'll just have a quick snooze while you go and look around. Might not be a comfy dress, said Katie, but it is absolutely beautiful. Oh, do you really think so? said a voice. Oh, Katie looked around, but there was no one there. Only Grandma, and she was sound asleep. Did you say something? Katie asked Margarita. Yes, but I'm not really supposed to speak, whispered the princess. Quickly, come inside. And she helped Katie get into the picture. Shall we play together? asked Margarita. I am fed up of being quiet and good and behaving like a princess. Let's play dressing up, said Katie. I'll be a princess and you can be a, uh, a, uh, I can be you, cried Margarita. We can swap clothes. They quickly changed clothes. How do I look, asked Katie. Oh, just like a princess, giggled Margarita. And now you must behave like one. Easy, laughed Katie. And you have to behave like me. At last I'm free, shouted Margarita, jumping into the gallery. Katie found it hard to keep up in that enormous dress. Wait for me, she called. Can you hear my dog snoring in the background? She's fast asleep snoring. Margarita stopped and waited for Katie to catch up. Let's look at the picture, she said. Oh, which one is your favourite? That one, said Katie, pointing to a picture called Don Manuel Osorio de Zunigo by Francisco Goya. Look at all his pets. Suddenly, a bird swooped out of the picture, snatched the jewel from the beautiful princess dress and flew off. <gasps> a magpie, Katie said. His name is Pluma, said the little boy tearfully. He loves shiny things. Well, where has he gone? Don't worry, Manuel, said Margarita. We'll catch him. This dress is impossible to run in, said Katie, as they chased Pluma, but they couldn't catch him, and he flew inside another painting. It was called The Parasol by Francisco Goya. Come on, said Margarita, let's go inside. And they clambered through the frame. Greetings, your majesty, said a young couple with a the dog. They thought Katie was the real princess. Look, there's Pluma, said Margarita. He's up in that tree. How are we going to catch him, asked Katie. You mustn't climb up in that dress, said the young man. You'll spoil it. Send your servant instead, said the lady, pointing to Margarita. Mm. Margarita climbed up the tree. She was just about to catch the bird when the dog jumped up and started barking. Pluma flew off into the gallery. Come on, Margarita, said Katie, follow that bird. What a strange princess, said the lady. There was no sign of Pluma in the gallery, but they could hear someone laughing. It was a scruffy little boy in a painting. A peasant boy leaning on a sill, read Margarita, by Bartolome Barillo. Are you looking for a bird? asked the boy. It flew in here. So Margarita and Katie squeezed through the small frame. 